Hello everyone, welcome back to video number three in our Spenny Moor Town Football Manager 2019 series. My name is Mal, I am your esteemed uh, host for this uh, series. Hello to everyone who's subscribed to Football Manager Blog Channel. Get subscribed guys, don't forget to do it. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a little frog in my throat after my tea. Now, the last time I came to do a video, I did an 8-1 second qualifying round in the FA Cup match. Let's go and have a look at the schedule. As you can see, we won 8-1. Now, you know, things have gone well since that time. The FA Cup matches come thick and fast because the first round takes place, or the third round takes place in uh, January. So, obviously, you've got to get up to that level as the tournament progresses. But we've done well. So, I just want to quickly show you a couple of the matches we've had since then. Glenn Taylor, as you'll see, um, they scored first. We equalised. Glenn Taylor scored a second in the 71st minute. Harry White then equalised in the 87th minute. I'm thinking... Damn, there goes our our um, good record. 94th minute, Glenn Taylor pops up for his hat-trick goal. 9.5 rating. Wowzers. Uh, followed shortly by a match to rush all. Now, in this match, I rotated hugely, as you can see. All of the the players who played are not first-team starters. So, you know, I took a bit of a risk. And, in fact, they scored first, or, or we scored first. Then they equalised. We went ahead and we went... 3-1 ahead, they then came back um, you know, into the game and we ended up winning 5-3, they, they scored late on, so we were 5-2 and coasting a little bit. Plenty of shots, it was a little bit of a risk if I'm honest guys, but I got through it and then um, played in, against Ashton United in the next game and again, Glenn Taylor scores three, Matt Regan own goal, so Glenn Taylor, six goals in two games, massively on form. Um, key passes by our Loney Walker doing very very well so yeah that's meant that in terms of the league we are streaking ahead guys 11 wins out of 12, 1 draw goal difference of 22 and 7 points clear job done, easy game um, I'm sure it'll get harder but you never know uh, the reason that I'm here today is to show you that we are playing uh, Gateshead, so it's a local derby we're away from home so there'll be a bit of FA Cup money coming uh, it's a huge game, it's to get through to the first round if we can do it. However, Gateshead are 10th in the Vanarama League. All of their players are on kind of big, you know, decent money. Um, potentially a weakness in defence with Connor Young. So there's, you know, perhaps some possibilities that we can do well, but a lot of, you know, two Newcastle players there. Uh, but they've got some injuries, three to seven weeks and one to six days. So potentially, guys, there's a chance of an upset. Tom White being their star player with some brilliant determination stats. However, they are 10th in the Vanarama National League. Get off. Um, played set 16, won 6, drawn 6. Goal difference of 1. So the, the mid-table, now given that we're, you know, top of our league by some distance, we can maybe, maybe give them a game. So we are now going to go forward just to quickly show you the tactics. Uh, it's pretty much our strongest 11. Um, you know, just as it was really. I just want to quickly show you one potential transfer. Matt Gould has been uh, agreed, and also in terms of the history, uh, we've now uh, released or, or agreed to sell Andrew Johnson to Boston United on a free transfer. He uh, got sick because he wasn't playing. I said, fine, you can go, and he went. Simple as that. Um, but we have got potentially coming in Danny Nguessen, I think that is, 31. Great stats, 14 pace. That left wing position is a weakness, and I'm really, really happy that he's an inside forward as well. It's exactly where we play. In terms of attack, um, it says he's, that's weird. Uh, oh, and it's gone off completely. That's a lovely bug. Um, so let's get straight into the game then. The tactics are pretty much as we've played before. Let's see how we get on. Lots of familiarity going on. We're just going to get straight into the game. No edits, guys. Just going to play it and see how it goes. You're going to get the full game this one. I did edit the last time, kept the video length down. Basically, they are playing quite defensive, but I'm confident that we can pull up a, a bit of a surprise. Key battle here between Oli Armstrong and Sorensen, Atkinson, Thackeray and Oman Bake. Let's um, challenge the team to pick up where they left off, tell them all that we've got faith in them, try and get them greened up before we go into the game. Um and we get most of them greened and pretty much loving it. Let's kick off the match at the Gateshead International Stadium. Nice, uh, some nice graphics there and we're off. So let's keep our fingers crossed. 
that we do well in this match. You never know. We might get lucky. We might spring a surprise. Who knows? I would love to. Um, but in terms of the league, we're doing very well. We will return to league action unless we continue with this amazing cup run after this game. And we've certainly started well. That's a key ball out to Williams. And a good challenge there by White, who is there determined. With lots of lovely green stats on his uh, key areas there. What I hope we don't do is any foul ups like that type of ball there would be awful. Wow. Skim the top of the bar. We don't want that. So what I've found, guys, is that demand more gets you green a lot. Um, this will probably make a liar of me. So 12 minutes in, we're still in the game. We're actually showing a little bit of attacking now, which is great. Chutton to... If he crosses it within... Yes, goal by Glenn Taylor. Come on. Taylor's been on absolute fire recently. It's brilliant. Walker to Chutton. And he sees Anderson on the left, who may well be getting replaced. And he holds the ball nicely. And Taylor tips it in. Great goal. Really, really happy. Come on. Come on. And Adu Papra gives away a foul. He's going to go in the book, possibly. He's hoping he can get away. Oh, not a red. Oh, my God, he's red. I don't believe it. A straight red after 13 minutes. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's horrendous. Oh, dear. Well, Anderson's going to get... Anderson's going to get sacrificed. We're going to basically say for him just to stay where he is and make Ramshaw and Mazala as the Corellio. Mazala will get into the wings a little bit so we can make something of this. This is disaster. It's a true disaster. I cannot believe the referee gave him a straight red for that. Unbelievable. Man, that's just awful, man. We have a little bit of a, a green screen issue going on down there. We'll just have to live with that, and I am actually see through. Oh, dear. I don't want to check on go very defensive. I want to go cautious. I don't want to go very defensive because they'll just it just invites them on. Oh, great ball and a good save, O'Brien. That's what we need. It's a huge ask to go right to the end of this match with no um, apologies for the green screen issue, guys. I will get this fixed before the next video. It's getting on my nerves. I might try and is that better? That might be slightly better. Apologies if that's a fit. Yeah, it has. That's made that slightly better. Had the saturation on a bit too far. However, let's press on. It's a live show. Ramshaw doing well. Go on, Ramshaw. Cross it in, son. Ooh. I'm still good gutted about Gideon's red card. He's probably one of our best players. Go on, shooting. Ooh, Walker. That hand had been blocked. That was a great block. Game set off. That was a terrible challenge. Oh. Right, focus, 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 focus. Great block. And off we go, Taylor. 
and white as well. White's on a yellow, so that could be significant later in the game. Because if it goes to 10 men, I'd probably go to 4-4-1 and just really try and uh, show things up. So we are at half time, guys. That is. I just want them to keep going. Just want them to keep going. Um. I think he was unlucky because I honestly don't think there was anything in that. I'll be really honest, guys. I don't think there was anything in that. However, we've made no changes, additional changes. We're going to just press on for now. At this point, to be honest, I would take a replay. I'm hoping for the win, but I'll take a replay. I feel like we've been slightly screwed. And, yeah, upset with that. We'll probably review that red card at the end. It's hard to tell on the, um, on, on the kind of graphics of the game. Uh, but we need to, I think I just need to demand more. Oh, I've paused it by mistake, apologies. That's two of their players on a on a yellow. Who have we got? Fitness wise, we're actually all right because I've made it so that the area is getting covered. Williams, go on, Williams. It's in. Tuton scored. We're two nil up. Right. So this changes everything, guys. This changes everything. Well, we'll just watch the replay. Come on. So Walker does well, and again, Williams getting loads and loads of space. That attacking fullback works so well for us. And he crosses it in. The defenders make a bit of a mess. And then Tutin with a great finish. Goalie gets a touch, but it's in. And we are ahead. So we're going to pause the play. We're going to go to tactics. And we're going to have a look at this. I think what I'm now going to do is... I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull Walker. Which one can play at the further back? Can Walker go back? No, he, but he is a centre half, so he can go into the defence. Ramshaw is coming back, and Taylor's going out there. Actually, no, I'm going to put Walker there. No, I'm not. I'm going to put Walker. I don't know, whoops! I've made a right mess of this. Sorry, guys. I'll get there in a minute. So Taylor's going there. Tutin's going there, Walker's going there, Taylor's going up here, Walker's going across here, and it's possibly Walker that's going to, probably going to change Ramshaw. No, Ramshaw's playing better, so have we got a, now got a left-sided player? Right-footed for Romario. Actually, I'm going to bring off him for Romario, because he's defensive mid, so he can go there. Uh, Jamie Chandler is right only, of course he is. Goldman Bake is right only. And do we have anyone who's left footed? No, sure we must have. One of them must be. Left only, Shane Henry, and he can play out there. So let's put Shane Henry on there. Now for tactics, we're gonna stay cautious. We are gonna drop back but we're going to play right back so we're really going to narrow that line of engagement stay on the feet tighter Morgan defensive width is going to be narrow works well and I want to go back to the tactics oops no how do I get back sorry guys apologies no, I've messed up here Okay, we'll play on pitch. So we'll let that take effect. And I just want to check something before we finish. I want to make those defensive defend wingers. Tutin can't really do it, but you know, we appreciate that we are now just doing a job. And hopefully that's not gonna blow up in our face. No silly. Oh no.
So I've praised them 20 minutes ago. Down to 10 men, winning 2-0 against Gates had a division higher than us. And these are now a little bit of negative emotions creeping in to Gateshead's team. They've made a change up front. It says Tutin's been played out of ta uh, out of position, but we're just going to ignore that. Now we've got 10 minutes to go, so we're going to encourage the team. That it doesn't always result in good feedback. Uh, the Gateshead players are now overwhelmed by feedback, and we're now frustrated, so that wasn't good. It's funny, encouraging doesn't seem to work. I used to use it a lot in the last game. Can we have any subs left? No, we don't. So now we're just going to go to very defensive. Three minutes to go. Come on. I think we've got this. We have. Ref wears a whistle. Clear it. And that's it. We've done it. Get in. Get in. Wow. The run continues. What an amazing, amazing performance. Just want to basically praise, you know, Tutin was man of the match. He gets just a passionate, very good performance. And the rest who are over seven, I always say he did well out there. And really, everyone did amazing. So let's just, um, what I would like to do is talk about the red card. Um, actually, no, we've got 25k. He's banned for one match. I want to view the incident. Let's have a look. See, do we do we do we appeal? And I'll let you know in the next video how that went. So, well, I think there wasn't much in that to be honest. Caught him with an elbow. Yeah, caught him with an elbow. It's hard to tell. Was dismissed for a vicious foul, and the referee's decision was probably justified. So I'm probably going to fine him for a week's wages. Actually, I'm not going to fine him. I'm going to issue a warning. Um, and Tutin's on form. So I'm going to praise him. And I'm going to get him to accept his warning. So what I'm going to do, guys, because I believe there'll be an FA Cup draw in the next couple of days. So we'll wait and see who we're actually playing. It might be today. Um, so yeah, everyone did, you know, did pretty well there. Now, Wollstone, would he be a good signing? Hmm. Right, so, um, suspended for one match. I have a feeling they're going to extend that one, guys, I think. I'm really disappointed in him. However, we did make it through, so I'm really over the moon about that. I'm hoping that we get the FA Cup draw. We have got Danny Gwesson. I'm not quite sure how you how you say his name. Whoops. Um, I'll have to look that one up for you. On the FA Cup first round draw is today. Let's welcome the, the player into the team. Face difficult spending more challenge. And here is the draw. So we're just going to, I think, do an all teams draw. And we see that we play Notts County at home. So that is a great, great draw. Um, Notts County at home. Uh, let's have a look, see when that's going to be played. That's going to be probably our next video. Um, and then after that, we will focus on um, league play. Obviously, we're fighting for the league title. Um, but the FA Cup first round, Notts County are 17th in League 2, which means they're sort of flirting with problems. They've only won three games out of 14, uh, but are a big step up in terms of quality um, for us. So, you know... It's going to be hard, but we can we, we can do it. But again, nobody's really scoring lots of goals, so let's keep our fingers crossed, crossed for that. Um, so thank you for watching, guys. What a great result. Uh, get subscribed. I hope you keep following the Gateshead. Or Spenny Moore, sorry, not Gateshead. Uh, Spenny Moore whilst we try and you know work our way up the divisions. We've got a good side. We remember, where, despite the, the cup footing games, we are well ahead in the league and doing well. So keep following us, and thanks for watching.